September 1st, 2023. This is The Daily Show with me, your host, Kyle William Marston. And there is a ton of news to get through. So, like my predecessor before me, I'm going to try to spin through it as quickly as possible. To begin, if you were expecting some plastic lawn chair to come across the ocean to your house and you live on the East Coast, the Suez Canal is drying up and it's really hard to get uh, maritime transportation through it. So you might have to wait. And if you think that's the worst news you're gonna hear today, oh, you are wrong. Because there's also this other thing that Ronnie Chang was supposed to cover, but he didn't come back to work. It's where the Philippines and the Chinese have a feud going over this boat that the Filipino Navy sank over some shoals. It's like a World War II battleship. It's kind of an island. And that's a whole thing we'll cover later, but ain't nobody got time for that. In addition, there's coups going on in places like Gabon. Hopefully you've heard about Sudan and uh, Niger, which is the right way you're supposed to say it. But because Roy Wood Jr. and Jessica Williams are here, I'm sorry, Jabuki is not either. I'm probably not the right person to talk about. I miss you, Trevor. However, as an American, oh, I can talk about this one. <laughs> See, I watched that whole uh, thing where old people yell at television screens and themselves to try to produce uh, cable media ratings. And I heard something really weird, uh, which I think was almost disqualifying for anybody trying to run for presidency of the United States of America. They said that there was a new Ku Klux Klan. And anybody who's lived in the Deep South as long as I have, or Roy Wood Jr. has, knows the Ku Klux Klan isn't gone yet. And for anybody to say that there is a new Ku Klux Klan being led by a black woman in Massachusetts who happens to work for the government, um, does not understand American history. So, I'm sorry, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, you got a due date, and it's called Already. You might be the son of immigrants, and I respect that. I love immigrants. Some of my best friends are immigrants. But for you to say that there's a new Ku Klux Klan that has had zero lynchings, that has not dragged people through parking lots with pickup trucks. I mean, the last time Massachusetts had a violent episode like that, we call it the witch trials, and now it's a tourist sport. Uh, so I'm gonna put you on notice and tell you to get the fuck out of that race and get back to the favoritest book I've ever read. Have a good night, America.